Hey, what is up guys? Everyone likes math, right? No? Well, at least some of us do. Math is very important concept behind Bitcoin technology and other cryptocurrencies, especially when it comes to protecting your digital assets. So in this video, we will look at the math behind elliptic curve cryptography and how it protects your private key. Introduction When someone sends Bitcoin to you, they send Bitcoin to your address. If you want to spend any of those Bitcoin that is sent to your address, you create a transaction and specify where your Bitcoin will go. Such transaction may look like Transfer 5 Bitcoins from this address to this address. Of course, anyone can create a transaction that looks like that. So, if it was added to the blockchain as is, without any issues, then you would be out of $35,000 whether you like it or not. Luckily, such a transaction does not belong to the blockchain, because it's missing a valid digital signature. By adding digital signature, you can prove that you know the private key that corresponds to that address. If you do not know the corresponding private keys, then you probably should not have been telling people to send Bitcoin to you via that address since you are unable to spend any of those Bitcoins. When you create a Bitcoin address for yourself, you generate private key first. From the private key, you compute the corresponding public key. By hashing that public key, you got your address. Hopefully, you cannot choose the address first and then determine the private key from that. Otherwise, you could determine the private key for any address using this method. Wait, what? What is Satoshi's address again? Public Key Cryptography Public keys, private keys and digital signatures are from the basic components of the public key cryptography. No matter what mathematical basis is used to implement public key cryptography system, it must satisfy the following. Number 1. It is computationally impossible to derive the private key corresponding to the given public key. Number 2. It is possible to prove that one knows the private key corresponding to the public key without revealing any useful information about the private key in the process. One way to do a public key cryptography is with elliptic curves. Another way is with RSA, which revolves around prime numbers. Most cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum use elliptic curves. Elliptic curve cryptography Now the question is, what is an elliptic curve? An elliptic curve contains all of the following points that satisfy an equation of the following form y square equals x cube plus ax plus b. Let's go back, I don't know, 8th grade or whatever and look at some of the functions of elliptic curves. First example is y square equals x cube minus 1. If your math sucks and you did not pay any attention in your geometry class, here is how we can draw this function. We have x-axis and y-axis and we have an equation. Now we are going to plug random integers into x variable to find y. If x equal 1, then x cubed also 1. 1 minus 1 equals 0, then y squared equals 0, therefore y equals 0, so when x equals 1, then y equals 0 respectively. Now let's say x equals 3, then 3 cubed is 27, 27 minus 1 is 26, then y squared equals 26. Therefore, y equals plus minus square root of 26 and it equals to approximately plus minus 5.01. So, when x equals 3, then y equals plus minus 5.01 respectively. Now, we can plot those numbers. Of course, it would be much better to give more integers to x, but we do not have a lot of time. Well, you got the idea. Here are some examples of elliptic curves. Notice all elliptic curves are symmetrical about x-axis. The elliptic curve used by Bitcoin, Ethereum and many other cryptocurrencies is called 
SECP-256K1. The equation for the SECP-256K1 curve is y squared equals x cubed plus 7. This curve looks like this. Point addition. You know how you can add two numbers together to get the third one? Well, you can do the same on elliptic curve. You can add two points on elliptic curve together to get the third point on the curve. To add two points on elliptic curve together, you first find the line that goes through those two points. Then you determine where the line intersects the curve at the third point. Then you reflect the third point across the x-axis and whatever point you get from that is the result of adding the first two points together. For example, let's say you want to add the following two points together. First, you find the line that goes through those two points. Then, you find the third point on the curve that line intersects. Then, you reflect the point across the x-axis, let's call it R. Therefore, P plus Q equals R. To do elliptic curve cryptography efficiently, rather than adding two arbitrary points together, we specify a base point on the curve and only add that point to itself. For example, let's say we have the following curve with the base point P. Initially, we have P, or 1 multiplied by P. Now, let's add P to itself. First, we have to find the equation of the line that goes through P. There are infinite such lines. In this specific case, we use tangent line. If you do not know what tangent line means, here is the definition. The tangent line to a plane curve at the given point is a straight line that just touches the curve at that point. Now we find the third point that this line intersects and reflected across x-axis. Therefore, P adds to itself or P plus P equals 2P. We can continue to add P to itself to compute 4P and 5P and so on. But how many steps would it take to compute 10p? It would appear to take 9 steps, because 10 multiplied by p is p add to itself 10 times, which requires 9 point addition operations. It turns out that we can compute 10 multiplied by p in just 4 steps. This is because the following property holds for points addition n multiplied by p plus r multiplied by p equals we can take out p and we get n plus r in parentheses multiplied by p for example 4p plus 6p equals 4 plus 6 in parentheses multiplied by p equals to 10p therefore the fast way to calculate 10p is as follows p plus p equals 2p 2p plus 2p equals 4p 4p plus 4p equals 8p 2p plus 8p equals 10p which only requires 4 points addition operations how many steps would it take to compute xp where x is a random 256 bit integer in this case x can range anywhere from 0 to very very large integer it turns out that computing XP would never require more than 510 point addition operations. I'm just going to give you fast explanation why. At most, the binary expansion of X will contain 256 elements, that is up to 2 to the power 255. So we won't ever have to add more than 256 points together. Therefore, the second step will require at most 255 points additional operations. Therefore, computing x times p will take at most 255 plus 255 equals 510 points additional operations. Private and public keys Since the division does not exist in the elliptic curve cryptography, Therefore, you cannot figure out small x given large x where x equals xp. It might be convenient to make small x your private key and large x your public key. 
your private key would then be random 256 bit integer and your public key would then be x and y coordinates of the point on elliptic curve. This would satisfy the following property of private and public keys. It is computationally impossible to derive the private key corresponding to a given public key. Conclusion If you want to obtain Bitcoin address or Ethereum address, you generate random 256-bit integer small x. Small x is then your private key, then you compute large x equals small x times p using a parameters for the SECP 256k1 curve. Large x will be your public key. Your public key is safe to give out and cannot be used to determine your private key. If you hash your public key, you will obtain your address. So this is the end, let me know what do you guys think about the math behind elliptic curve cryptography. Is it too complicated or not? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe for more animated videos about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Other than that, thank you for watching and see you next time.